And they in the let's say five di digit figures. Five digits figures. China is moving very fast uh, these days. I think we also see some new concepts coming out of the US or of Europe. Uh, it's just not going to be the way uh, it was in the past that uh, innovations only came from one area of the world now they will come from everywhere In China, the one big advantage we have as, uh, as a startup is that people here are more used to using uh, uh, battery electric vehicles. Uh, and we have more data and more, uh, more feedback already what works and what doesn't work. So we have more experience in that field. Uh, that's what we think is our biggest advantage. At the same time, uh, we have a lot of people in our company which are from the traditional car makers. So we know how to make a car to the highest quality standards. Uh, European consumers would actually accept uh, a Chinese brand in something where the whole of Europe now recognizes that China might have uh, an advantage in development because it's an EV. If it would have been a traditional combustion engine car, maybe that question would be sort of more relevant. But for an EV, we know there's much more experience over here in China because China has been used to EVs for a much longer time. tonight but uh, I was here uh, yesterday so but I come to Shanghai very often. China is really uh, playing a leading role here it is a very important uh, element for automated uh, driving so 
Um, we are investing as a BMW group a lot in automated driving. You see here on the stand our BMW iNex, which is what I call the incubator of everything that BMW has to offer in terms of innovation. Of course, it's fully electric with a range of 600 kilometers, but it also offers a very high level of automated driving uh, capabilities and 5G is important uh, to that. So uh, BMW Group is, um, uh, as far as I know, the first international uh, manufacturer that obtained a uh, license for automated road tests uh, here in Shanghai. So we are also cooperating very closely with our Chinese uh, colleagues here.